Hey there, it's your host Dan once again. Today we're going to be doing a review and a test with this product right here. These are coolant and brake test strips from a company called Phoenix Systems. And it tests your coolant in two different ways. First off, the freeze slash boil point to make sure that's within range. And also your pH corrosion slash acidity level. On the brake side of things, it's going to check your copper corrosion level. And these are like a, a strip and they're double-ended so you can do both on one strip. I bought this for about $35 to the door and there's 15 test strips in here which makes them cost about a little over two dollars sealed up like a pack of gum here which is kind of nice that way I can seal this package back up and it comes a little reference card here which is same thing as the back the, the scale on it it's also got the other side with that up here that's kind of nice in case you want to give that to somebody you're not giving them you know the package because i'm only going to use a few of these i've got a few cars here at home some of them we know the history on as far as the coolant and the brake fluid some of them we don't so we're going to use this product here and see if uh, it's telling us it needs replacing okay engine's not hot of course got the radiator cap off let's get the test strip out let's see here this is the coolant end Let's make sure we get that dipped in there. Shake off the excess, it says, and we're going to wait 30 seconds on that. Next on to our brake fluid. We'll just dip that in here. We'll get that out of the way. Seal that back up. I'm going to let that wait a little bit, and we'll go over and see how the results stack up to the card. Okay, here's the results for my daily. As far as the coolant side of things go, the freeze boil point, that falls in at about 100%. That's perfect where it should be. But now the pH corrosion acidity level, that's hitting at about a 7, which is just about borderline replacing it. So this is something that's going to have to be done relatively soon. Now, on the brake side of things, that's matching up at the very end of the scale, about 300 parts per million of copper in there you know and i suspect this car's probably never ever had the brake fluid change so that'll be something i'll be doing soon because you know this is indicating that hey you're getting off the end of the scale this is something that really should be replaced which i'll do so on to the next car and let's see what the results of that are going to be next up is the corvette let's stick this in here and see what kind of reading we get on the coolant get that in there and shake it off and on the brake side of things, I do have two here. Hoping that yeah, it'll probably be about the same across the board. I don't want to waste two strips testing this twice. I want to make sure I cover this up right away. I'm done with it. And here's the result for the 85 Corvette. As far as the freeze boil point, boom, right up at 100%. pH corrosion, uh, that's easily a 9 right there so like I said I, I know I when I did the heater core I dropped at least half the coolant half of it was new I really should have did a full flush I'm still gonna in the future let's go around the brake side of things and that's gonna fall in probably about two, maybe about 20 in between the 10 and the 30 it's not quite as dark which is kind of surprising because I know the brake fluid in that car it hasn't been replaced in over 20 years and I'm still going to do that anyways but it's just nice to do this test to you know kind of see where it's at so on to the next car next up is the Buick Let's dip that on in there shake it off here's the results for the Buick as far as the freeze boil, eh, it's in about 60% there on the scale. The pH corrosion, that's just falling under the range to replace it. Looks like about 6.5. And then on the brake end of things, that's just like uh, you know my car. It's on the 300 plus end of the spectrum, so it's probably never been replaced in this vehicle. Doing one other test here. This will be more like a control. I'm going to do it on the coolant end side of the strip, just in regular tap water, because of course I expect it to be right down at zero, and the pH should be right around seven. So we'll test that out, dip that in the water. 
This will also give me the other brake end, which I can use on the Corvette to test the secondary brake reservoir on it, which I'm going to go do right now. And here's the results after about a minute or so. The boiling point right down zero, as to be expected. As far as pH, I'm probably down somewhere about 5. This is on tap water. I would have expected it to be a little higher, but I've never tested that, so it's kind of good to know. And then on the secondary side of things, as far as the brakes, it's about equal to the front, which is somewhere right in between 10 and 30. It's not quite as dark as 30, so it's somewhere around 20 parts per million of the copper in there. So it's actually saying the brake fluid is okay in the Corvette, but I know it hasn't been changed in decades, so I will still do it eventually. But uh, this is kind of interesting on the tap water that my pH is down around 5. So, but I just want to do this as a control, you know, not just waste a strip. I did get the extra test on the brake fluid, which I assumed and you know did show to be the same as the front. All right, we got all the cars tested now. What it's really telling me is that the Grand Prix and the LeSabre definitely need the brake fluid flushed. The coolant was kind of questionable on both. Um, I circled where it was within five minutes after the test because this is well in, well over a day after the test and these colors do change a little bit. Like for instance, the uh, freeze boil point on this was that almost kind of dark purple and it's really lightened up. and all the pHs are almost the same now whereas this one was a little bit below the line and on the Corvette it was all the way into the dark green I think that kind of lightened up a little bit um, as one last control I also because I was worried about the tap water I took a bottle of distilled about a minute ago and I didn't use a glass or anything and I just dipped a strip into the top of this and this is the result right here which is pretty close to this right there but keep in mind that's a day that that one's had to dry out so that's what i need to do is i need to get on brake fluid flushes for the grand prix and the Le Sabre. The corvette is testing out okay so that's going to be put on the back burner for now and that can wait so i hope you enjoyed watching the video as always thanks for watching